once had a snowball fight in the middle of July on top of Mount Rainier. This is Maximo Cedeno. He was born in the Dominican Republic and loves hot weather. He collects comic books and baseball cards. This is Dara Mehta. She used to live in India and she visits Florida a lot. She likes playing the flute and collects coins. And this is Nimoy, Carmen Sandiego's evil extraterrestrial associate. Nimoy. Her last known whereabouts? Chicago, Illinois. Chicago-style blues was popularized by performers like Muddy Waters, Howling Wolf, and Willie Dixon, most of whom were former Southerners. Blues music began in the South, when African-American musicians forged the style from the spirituals, work songs, and ballads of the 19th century. Today in Chicago, you can still hear great blues musicians crank out the tunes. Stars like Buddy Guy, Coco Taylor, and Sunnyland Slim. Or you could, until today, when Nimoy hit the south side to take in some tunes. When Nimoy gets into the music, she really gets into the music. She liked it so much, she took it with her when she left. Some tunes, you've got to stop the sad sound of <laughs> the losing the blues blues. <laughs> And here's Acme's senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hey! Hi guys, how are you? Oh, thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you. Hey, Young, how are you? Max, Dara, how are you guys? Good to see you. Listen, I just, I just want to remind you that if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that's not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So to start them off here, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks, and you guys know how to play this game already, right? Okay, so we'll just start off now with our very first clue, which is the... It's the video music clue, oh, Greg. Great. Oh, fantastic. I love these. I'll just pop it in. Turn it on. Wait a minute, I know this guy. This is Manson Lipscomb. Oh, he's great. Yeah, Manson was a sharecropper in a town called Navasota near the Brazos River. You see, for most of his life, Manson just sang for the love of it. But he was discovered at age 65. He made some records and got pretty popular. So Nimoy must be in Lipscomb's home state. Great, but we got to go on. Okay, guys, so name the state, if you will, please. Is it Florida, West Virginia, or Texas? Remember the clues that we heard? Town called Navasota near the Brazos River, home of blues singer Mance Lipscomb, and it's a southern state. Max is already ready, very fast. So is Hey Young, and so is Dara. Hey Young, what do you think? I said Texas. Texas. Max, what do you say? I said Florida. Florida. Dara? I said, I also said Florida. Florida. The answer we're actually looking for is... Texas. Nice job, hey, Young. As you know, we give you 10 crime bucks anytime you answer correctly, so that means, hey, Young, you're up to 60 crime bucks. Max and Dare are still at 50, but uh, a lot of, lot of case yet to go here on this one. Okay, so for our next clue, we turn to the one and only person in this entire office who... Oh, Greg? Yeah, get you. Greg! Chief, I'm right... Oh, wait a minute. She can't hear me. Just a second. Yes, go ahead. Oh. Hey, Gary, why is it? Oh, oh. Ah, that's better. I just made a discovery. Nimoy bubbled out of a blue hole, a cave that could only be reached underwater. She's just off the largest island of the Bahamas. It has some of the deepest blue holes in the world, so... Press go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know what? Nimoy must have stashed the blues in the blue hole and then blue town. Thanks a lot, Chief. Thank you. Happy diving. Okay, guys, if you will, please name the island. Is it Andros, Grand Bahama, or Bermuda? Remember the clues that we heard. Largest island in the Bahamas and deep blue holes. Max is ready, so is Dara. Hey, Young is too. Hey, Young, what do you think? I said Grand Bahama. Grand Bahama. Max. I said Andros. Andros. What do you think, Dara? I also said Grand Bahama. Grand Bahama. The answer we're looking for is Andros. Nice job, Max. So that means Hey Young's at 60, Max goes up to 60, Dara's still in this thing with 50 crime bucks. Now, 
Wait a minute, I need to start. Well, Nemo's on a river, runs from the black forest to the black sea. Hey, well, Nemo's on a river, runs from the black forest to the black sea. See, see, what? And go to the sick European oh. country. Taking the blues away from me, me. I'll be taking it. Oh, the butterflies that feel bad. Lost them down hell. Oh, hey, hell yeah, from Budapest to Belgrade. It flows past town and house and house and town and house. Oh, oh. And there's a world of better river. Ladies and gentlemen. Nice job. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I oh, always like to start the day off with a good blues number. Okay, guys. Uh, name the river, if you will, please. Is it Loire, Volga River, or Danube River? Remember the clues that we heard. Goes from the Black Forest to the Black Sea and through six European countries. A waltz by Strauss named after the river. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Trying to find Nemo and the Blues. Hey, Young's ready, so is Dara, and Max is ready, too. Hey, Young, what do you say? I said the Danube River. The Danube River, Max. I, said, I also said the Danube River. Danube River, Dara. I also said the Danube River. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right. Nice job, guys. So, hey, Young, you're up to 70. Max has 70. Dara, 60 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, you guys know what that means it's time for the lightning round. These questions all are about Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, which is Austria. For every correct answer, we give you five crime bucks. Hands on the buzzer. Listen carefully. Here we go. One Austrian city has hosted the Winter Olympics twice. Is that city Innsbruck, Vienna, or Salzburg? Max. Salzburg? Sorry, it's not Salzburg. Dara. Uh, can you repeat the question? Sure. It's Innsbruck, Vienna, or Salzburg? Vienna? Uh, sorry, it's not Vienna. Hey, Young. Innsbruck? Yes, amazingly, you are correct. <laughs> Gonna hang him back there, right? <laughs> You're up to 75. Question two. Austria's borders have changed many times over the centuries. Today, Austria is closer in size to Maine, New Jersey, or Alaska. Max? Alaska? Sorry, it's not Alaska. Dara? Maine? It's Maine. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Last question. Here we go. Members of the Vienna Boys Choir must leave the group when? On their 16th birthday, when their voice changes, or when they start listening to rap music? Dara. When their voice changes? That's right. That's exactly right. Five for you. It doesn't matter with rap music. So that means, hey, Young, you go up to 75. Max has 70. Dara, 70 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, uh, you know, usually this is when the chief comes and interrupts me, but I'm afraid we have a lot of paperwork to go over today. So if you don't mind, just let me... Uh, have her look at a couple of these. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry. Chief, I uh, have some forms for you to sign. Would you mind? Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. right. What are they? Here. Well, these are, uh, well, they're contest authorization forms. See, normally I have you sign these before the show, but uh, today our copier kind of had a little bit of peanut butter in the ink dispenser. Right. And, well, if you just sign those. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, Wait a minute. Hold it. You got to sign that with a number two pencil. I'm sorry. A number two pencil? Why? Yeah. Well, uh, this paper does a lot better with number two pencil lead, and besides that, it's, oh, uh, it's oh, regulations. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Thank here. you. Now, Thank you. can we talk about the contest? Uh, not quite yet. We still have to uh, have you sign this one here. This one you have to sign with a number 12 Kelly Green oversized crayon. But you know, That's I, regulations. I just don't remember them being this complicated. What? You know, we used to be able to just tell the gumshoes at home, watch every day, and hey. see what was stolen hey. and from Chief, where. Chief, Chief, please, you can't say that we haven't finished this signing the authorization form. I'll try this one right. Here, All right. What do I sign this one with? With this one, you have to do it with a big plastic oh, pickle. Oh, so, not this. It's ridiculous. No, it's not, Chief. Oh, this is regulations. regulations. That's right. Thank you, Chief. Just think about it. Once all these are signed, we can tell the gumshoes at home that once they get four locations in loots, to put them on a postcard with their name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Then we'll show them today's winners.
Right. Then you'll say... Congratulations to all the winners. Right. Okay. Is that it? Uh, not quite, Chief. We still have this one right here, and for this one you need two rubber chickens, and you have to stick these underneath your arms, and of course, stand on one foot and just start jumping, of course, using a number two pencil. And, uh, you know, Chief, th these are regulations I'm talking about here. Well, they should be regulations. You know, maybe that was a chicken and a turkey. Ah, never mind, it doesn't matter. Okay, guys, remember, <laughs> we're still looking, thank you very much, we're still looking for Nimoy and the Blues. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Nimoy and Carmen Sandiego. Carmen, the Blues are so depressing. Why don't people sing the pinks instead? Why don't you move instead of talking? Head for Haifa, in a Middle East nation where many Soviet Jews have relocated. Ah, like me. I relocated to Earth from Roddenberry. There's a big difference. The Jewish people moved to seek a better life through religious freedom and honest work. And I moved to seek easy life through burglary and bleedily bloidily blue. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Turkey, Israel, or Jordan? Remember the clues that we heard? City of Haifa, Middle Eastern nation, and Jewish religious homeland. Max is ready, so is Dara. Hey, Young is ready, too. Hey, Young, what do you think? I said Jordan. Jordan. Max, what do you think? I said Israel. Israel. Dara? I also said Israel. Israel. The answer we're looking for is Israel. Nice job, Max and Dara. Okay, we're staying pretty close here. Hey, Young has 75, Max has 80, Dara 80 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, coming up next... Wait a minute, sounds like rumors are flying again. Just let me check this. Hey, guys, what's the word on the street? Hey, Greg, the word on the street is say dop. That's Vietnamese for bicycle. Nimoy's in a big Vietnamese city due east of Laos, where most people get around on bikes. There's so many bikes that bicycle repairmen can earn more than doctors. Well, you know, it's nice transportation. There's no gas and all. Well, bikes aren't cheap in this town, Greg. Lots of folks can't afford a whole bike, so they buy one piece at a time and put it together. One thing makes city bikers really nervous, though. That's when farmers pedal in from the country. Oh. Why's that? Because country bikes usually don't have brakes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the tip, guys. Keep the helmets on, okay? Thank you. All right, Gumshoes, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, or Phnom Penh? Remember the clues that we heard? Big Vietnamese city, due east of Laos, and bicycles are a major form of transportation. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Hey, Young is already ready. So is Max, so is Dara. Hey, Young, what do you think? I said Hanoi. Hanoi. Max? I said, I said Hanoi. But I'm Penn. Dara? I said Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City. The answer we're looking for is Hanoi. Nice job, Hey Young. <laughs> so, Hey Young, you're up to 85. Max has 80. Dara has 80 crime bucks. Now, we just received word that Nimoy has left Hanoi. So, let's pick up the chase. <laughs> that was stellar. Wonderful. All these worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Nimoy and the Blues blasted off for the ruins of Angkor Wat. What country, Dara? Cambodia. Uh, judges, is that all right? Yeah, Cambodia's right. Then she zoomed across Cambodia's western border. What country is she in, Max? Taiwan. Uh, is, is that right, judges? Sorry, the, the answer we're looking for is Th Thailand. Uh, question three. From Thailand, she brought the Blues to the capital of Myanmar, formerly called... Yeah, uh, yeah, Yangon is right, yes. Uh, uh, next, she beamed herself to the city of Kuala Lumpur. What country is she in? Hey, Young. Malaysia. Malaysia's right. Nimoy sailed the blues from Malaysia to the Philippines. What sea did she cross? Max. Coral. Sorry, it's the South China Sea. That means at the end of that round, Hey, Young has 90, Max 80, Darren 90. Nice job, guys. Give him a hand. Okay, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Nimoy is headed. Now, if you guys think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map. 
and think about Okay, everybody's ready for our last clue. Let's check in with our pal, Sydney Greenpig. Sydney. <laughs> Hello, Gregory, my boy. I'm told Nimoy is in a country once called the Cannibal Islands. <laughs> but it's no longer a refuge of man-eaters. In fact, the capital, Suva, is home to a venerated bastion of learning, the University of the South Pacific. And copra is a big industry. That's dried coconut meat. <laughs> They've also got bananas, pineapples, mangoes, seafood. Pardon me. I've got to go stuff my face. <laughs> okay, guys. Name the uh, group of islands, if you will, please. Is it American Samoa, Tonga, or Fiji? Remember the clues that we heard. Once called Cannibal Islands, University of the South Pacific, and capital is Suva. Okay, once you have an answer, lay it down right there in front of you. Hey, Young's ready, right? Maximo's ready, so is uh, Dara. Okay, uh, Max, we're going to start with you. You have 80 crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What did you say, Max? Tonga. Tonga. The answer we're looking for is not that one. I'm sorry, you're going to go down 30 crime bucks. Dara, you have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What did you say? I said American Samoa. That's not the answer we're looking for either. Sorry, you're going to go down 20. Hey, Young, you have 90 crime bucks, a slight smile on your face. How much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Fiji. Fiji is right. Nice job, Hey, Young. So, Hey, Young has 100, Max 50, Dara 70. That means Hey, Young and Dara, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. Max, listen, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff for us here today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief, I've been turning this place upside down trying to find that alien. And for all the help you've given us, we're giving you this upside down Acme travel kit. You get an atlas. Now, it's hard to read, just stand on your head. The official Carmen watch, a Carmen t shirt. And a subscription to National Geographic World magazine. But here's the good part about being upside down. You just take this world ball and... Push! Yes. Congratulations! I didn't know you could do that, Chief. Be careful, Greg! Okay, Chief, I'm sorry. Take it easy. Okay, guys, now it's time for us to go to Fiji to try to find Nimoy and the Blues. You all packed and ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, Derek, if you'll grab the door. If you wouldn't mind taking this for me, hey, Young. Head right on at the door, past uh, with her. Oh, dear, how nice of you. Are you catching this? Thank you very much. Hey, Chief, I can turn on the air conditioner if you want. Make it so. Ooh, I love saying that. Okay, Gumshoes, here we are in Fiji. Come on, come on, take your positions right there. The Chief has some very important information she wants you to hear. So, listen very carefully while I plug it in here. Why, Greg, I feel so calm, so relaxed. Well, Chief, it must be that, that great Fiji air. <laughs> right. There are 15 places here in Fiji where you might find Nimoy, the Warrant, or the Blues. Let's look at a few of them. First, the Nakoro Resort. One of many reasons Fiji is called paradise. Now, see that perfect blue sky behind the palm trees? Well, it's a perfect spot to hide the blues. Next, a Fiji cultural center, where you can see this traditional Yangkona ceremony. Yangkona is a Fijian drink made from pepper roots. Well, try some out after you catch Nimoy. Now, case this chant competition. If you hear a voice that sounds like the Beastie Boys played backwards, you'll know it's Nimoy. Now, fitness is essential for acne agents, so check out Jane Fonda's aerobics classes on Fiji. No, just kidding, gumshoes. These are really island dancers. Now, if you spot more than two legs under one of those skirts, odds are it's our alien. Now, that's your briefing, gumshoes. Now, go felon fishing in Fiji and nab that noxious Nimoy. 
Okay, guys, just as a reminder, you have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in a single turn in that order in order to try to catch Carmen San Diego. If you catch her, you get the trip. It's just that simple, okay? Hey, Young, you had the most at the end of the ra at the last round, so you go first. Turtle Island. Turtle Island. Nope, nothing there, but we're on our way. Dara. Emperor of the Gold Mine. Emperor Gold Mine. Nemoy. Ooh, nice job. You got Nemoy. Remember, you have to go in the right order, though. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Be careful, Dara. Go ahead. Rainbow Reef. Rainbow Reef. Yeah, that's the way to do it. We turn this back around. Hey, Young, your turn. Kula Bird Park. Kula Bird Park. Burgle Blues. Mm, nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Emperor Gold Mine. Emperor Gold Mine. Nemoy. Okay, you found the loot. You also found Nemoy. Remember, though, the right order, loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead, hey, Young. Fly water. Fly water. Mm -hmm. Nice strategy. We turn that back around. Dare your turn. Kula Bird Park. Kula, uh, Kula Bird Park. Chisel chart busters. You have the loot and a free turn. Go ahead, Dare. Joshi's th thumb. Joski's thumb. The warrant. Oh, you have the loot. You have the warrant. You need just one more. Do you remember where Nimoy is? Emperor of the Gold Mine. Is she still at Emperor Gold Mine? Yeah! yeah. Woo oh, yes. Come on over here. Beauteous. Nice job. As you know, you know what you just have to do here, right? Fall on the chain, put him in jail. Do it. Here he goes. Me, boy. You already know what to do. I don't have to tell you anything. Now, we're going to talk about your next adventure uh, in a little bit, which you already probably know what you're going to do next. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Hey, Young, listen, you are a fantastic detective. You tracked Nimoy all the way here. We have something very special for you, Chief. I've been watching you carefully. Now, luck didn't run your way on this case. But I can tell you've got real potential. That's why I want you to work with our Acme Travel Kit and to check out the international airwaves with this World Band Radio. Please take it with our sincere thanks and congratulations for a job well done. <laughs> We're just chatting. Okay, you know what's coming up next, right? Yes, yes, Carmen San Diego. But before you do that, we want to find out where you'd like to go if you catch her. So today, our portfolio is made of soybean product. Inside, there's a pen. There's also a piece of paper. Open it up and write down where you'd like to go. <laughs> I've only seen that one other time. Have you been there before? No. It's fantastic. I, I love it. Just one second. I need to get this phone call. You probably know who it's going to be, don't you? Yeah. I think we all do. Hello? Yes, he's... Hold on. It's right for you. Hello? Oh, another planet, another prison cell. Maybe I could spend my sentence getting to know Carmen better. Look for her in North America. What'd she say, Dara? Look for her in North America. Well, listen, if you're not busy, you're not, we'll, we'll go ahead and go. Okay. You and I are going to North America. Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Alaska, USA. Lake Winnipeg, Canada. Colorado River. Idaho, USA. Iowa, USA. Maine, USA. West Virginia, USA. Florida, USA. Oaxaca, Mexico. Cuba. Dominican Republic. Guatemala. Nicaragua. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. <laughs> Is that right? Go ahead and grab a marker there. We're going to put 45 seconds up on the clock. You know what you have to do. Eight and 45 seconds. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida. Do it. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Colorado River, USA. Colorado River, USA. Do it. Yes, come on, come on. Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Santo Domingo. Yes, come on. Valdez, Alaska. Alaska, Valdez. Do it. Yes, come on. Hudson Bay, Canada. Hudson Bay, Canada. Hurry, hurry. Try to get Hudson Bay, Canada. Yes. Banger Main, Banger Main, Banger Main. Do it. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Yes. Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. Do it. You're almost there. Do it. Yes. Come on, come on. Guatemala City, Guatemala. Guatemala. Oh. Seven and 45 seconds. Give her a big round of applause, you guys. Oh. Come right over here. You know what? You didn't have any trouble with any of those. I think what happened was you were taking a lot of time to make sure they were all in the right spot, and that's really what ate up a lot of time. But listen, you did some great stuff today. You got 7 and 45 seconds. You got the crook. That's what we asked you to do. Chief, what do you say? 
I know how elusive Carmen San Diego can be. But you did track down that Roddenberry and robber, Nimoy. And in appreciation of this deed, I'm giving you this portable CD player and a library of music from around the world, plus this CD by Rockapella featuring our theme song. So, take a deep breath. Be proud. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. Hey, player, put it here, pal. Nice job. Listen, buddy, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Well, she sings around the world, from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger felt up from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me, where in the world? Carmen San Diego. for where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Now, just in case you folks are curious, crooks who burgle make me furious. I can't hear you. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this...